this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can uh, convert a simple PHP file into an XML file and you can do this maybe to create your own uh, XML news feed and I will just dive into it if you look here in my screen I have a PHP file and it's called PHP to XML.php and what we are going to do at the end of this project or this tutorial is we are going to be a coin but XML um, I hope by now you should know what an XML document is and XML documents are commonly used in uh, news feeds like a uh, popular sites like Yahoo or Google they print out these XML files which can be used by other web developers or website owners to display their news headlines on their own uh, private websites and here I will show you how you can create a news feed for your own website and people can get your feed and be displaying news articles from your website to other websites um, to get into it I'm just I have my sublime text opened and then I have the PHP to uh, XML file in it opened and I'm just going to go ahead and start coding out XML file or the XML document uh, for an XML document in order to create an XML document first of all you need to create uh, uh, the document type and or the content type so we are going to start by let's start with our PHP tag here closing tag and now we want to create a header so we want a document should be headed as an XML uh, header content and type and we are going to put the type to uh, XML okay that is it uh, and that's in column okay um I'm going to save it here and I will refresh the page in the browser and see if any change occurs. Um, okay, nothing changes. Let's go back to a document. Now we have headed a document as XML. Uh, sorry, uh, here I should have said text or uh, text XML. And we are going to declare a version of XML. And to do that, I'm going to use a PHP echo statement to print out a uh, XML version. And we are going to set our version to 1.0. to UTF 8 and okay and let's close our uh, XML document okay <coughs> let's end that with a semicolon and let's save it and see if anything changes okay it said this page contains the following uh, errors error on line 1 at column 40 extra content at the end of the document below is uh, okay so we are having an error now but this already tells us that this is an XML document um, let's go ahead and continue coding uh, next for every XML document there will have to always be uh, an element root and we are going to go ahead and declare element root here and I'm going to call the articles so I'm just going to echo uh, root element and I'll call it article and, okay. and we have to echo closing tag there's always an opening and a closing tag or a closing element for 
an XML document. So we always have opening and a closing. Sorry. We always have an opening and a closing uh, type of element. Okay, now, now that we have this, let's save it. And okay, as you see, I think we are getting what we wanted, except for the fact that we are not getting a, a opening tag, it's not printing it. Uh, echo that article. <coughs> Okay. Okay. Um. What next we want to do? It's let's just let it be like that for now. Uh. What next I want to do? is I have a database table, and in that table, uh, I created a, a table called articles, <coughs> and in that articles, I have an ID field, a title, description, post, and uh, uh, publish date. What we are going to do is we are going to be getting data from our database and <coughs> sorry, we are going to be getting data from our database and we are going to display that data in the form of an XML. So to do so, um, I'm going to need to connect to my database in my uh, uh, PHP file. So to do so here, I'm just going to go I info up here and I will say include because I have a file called uh, config uh, in my template folder and that's where I declared my database variables and that is it okay so dear here if you want to take a look I can show you what the file contains here it mainly just connect to my database okay um let me close it and now that I have that let me go ahead and add uh, an element to our uh, uh, XML document so what I'm going to do here okay first of all I would do first a select statement so let's make sure our data is present so we can use it in the process so I'm going to do uh, my SQ, uh, my SQL query uh, SQL. I'm going to do a select statement select uh, from I'll, I'll use the fields select ID title and description and for update uh, from from our table which is called articles and I'm going to do an ordered by ordered by and I'm going to put for update descend then that is it. I'm going to close up with a semicolon. And what I need to do next is I have to put my results into an array, and I will name that array as result. And result <coughs> result will be uh, our database uh, connection variable and our query. Query and we set in our uh, select statement which is SQL. Sorry, SQL. Let's close that with the uh, okay. So we have that. That this is what we are going to use to get the data from the database. Okay, we have done that. <laughs> Let's add an element to our XML and I'm going to add. Uh, element which I'm going to name as item sorry item remember we said <coughs> every element that has an opening and a closing tag and I'm going to add uh, I'm going to close it item element and 
let's save it and see what happens. Uh, let's call we know. Okay, so I think it's working just well. Okay, so what next do we need to do? Uh, we need to get this title, maybe this ID, and the description and the publish date to make our uh, XML document complete. And to do so, we have here in the database we have. Oh, let me see. Uh, browse. We have okay. We have here three database raw records, and for us to get all of this story, we need to do uh, <coughs> what is known as a for each loop. And so I'm going to surround my element, not the root element, my element with a for each loop. For each, and I'm going to look through this uh, result array. Okay, uh, result, result as. And I'm going to do that as row, and I'm going to have okay. So we surround our element with our item element with a for each loop. So if you save this now, let's save it and see if it's working. Okay, I think it's working because we have now three different elements. <coughs> okay, next, what we are going to do is we are going to start adding in our uh, child elements into our into our element. <coughs> to do so, so I'm going to start here by saying echo. Um, and I'm going to use first one. I'm going to go with this title, and I'm going to put the uh, title. First of all, opening and closing title. And how am I going to get a title? I'm going to share here mm, dollar roll and title. Let's save it and see if that is working. Oh, there's a mistake. We have done something wrong. Something awful is going in. Okay, so oh, we didn't close here with a semicolon. Okay, let's refresh it and see what happens. Okay, so we are getting exactly what we wanted. We have a root, uh, a root element, which is not an article. And now we are having an item. We have three items here, three element items. One, two, three and each one is having a title okay um what next one that is basically what we just wanted to accomplish or what i wanted to show you but <laughs> okay let's go ahead and also add this uh um shall we do the description yeah let's do it uh so okay so i'm going to add another child element i'm going to call it uh, a description Opening and closing element, uh, description, and I'll close that and I'll go here and I will do just the same exact thing as I did with our title and dollar row, and it's here, it's called a uh, description, and I'm going to add here description. I'm going to save that and I'll refresh to see what happened. Okay, something is still wrong. Ah, I keep forgetting this semicolon PHP. Okay, <coughs> let's refresh it and see what happens. Okay, so we are having now an XML document. We have an article, uh, which is the root element, and we are having our items now with. Uh, each of our items is having child elements of title and a description. Um, we have three different uh, elements and with their different child elements. Um, what next do we need here? Um, maybe we wanted to add this. Uh, uh, okay, a link, which is very important. Uh, we 
have to but before the link let's do the publish date sometimes it's important so people who are going to use your news feed they would like to know when your articles have been posted if they are too old I don't think they want to use them so we are going to do a pop date here I'll close it as usual and I'll open um, pop date I'll close it and I'll do the same exact thing let me put this in the column before I forget again um, I'll do the same exact thing as I did with the uh, with the title and the description, so dollar wall, um, and the field in a database table is known as pop date. Okay, pop date, and I think that is it for this. <coughs> and I'm just going to go ahead also, and I'll add in a, a link. <coughs> you will have to always add a link in your. I'm just going to copy that and I'll paste it here and I'll rename this to link. You have to always have a link so uh, those using your feeds when they post them on their website those links can be navigated back to your site. That is the purpose of an RSS feed or, or a news feed. And here uh, instead of uh, putting this in here since I don't really have links for this now I can just go with for example um, printing out something um slash I'm just going to change this here to the ID uh, ID and I think that's pretty it. let's save this and see what happened um, refresh. <coughs> okay so that is it as you can see here, let me add it dot com here to make it like a little bit nice. Um, okay, let me rephrase it. Uh, okay, so we have this is a uh, as you can see here in the browser, it's saying uh, that PHP. But at the end of the day, what we have did is uh, done it. We are ending up with an XML file. This XML file does not appear to okay. So you see, we have in a dot PHP extension that we are having. We have been set with an XML file. And that is what we wanted to achieve. So with this now, uh, maybe other developers who are interested in your site, they can come to your site and get this news feed and they will be able to manipulate it and use it on their own websites. So people can navigate back from their sites to your site to read <coughs> whatever articles you're reading. <coughs> Here you look at the link, it's saying www.mywebsite.com slash ID and each of these is having a different ID. One to each article it's having a different ID and we are having different times and different descriptions and titles so that is basically it for this tutorial and I hope you enjoy it